having a moment of silence. Because this is this, the third video that I've tried to record. I, I understand this is a first world problem. I understand that making a YouTube video is not the end all, but... Everyone, it's Casey from Teaching on Less, where technology, teaching, and simplicity collide. Did I do that good? Did that sound good? And I am so excited you're here today because today's video, for the fourth time, is all about Teachers Pay Teachers banners and gifts. Yes, it was my most requested video on my Instagram poll. If you do not follow me on Instagram, then you should. And it is Casey Morris, just K-A-Y-S-E, M-O-R-R-I-S. I'll stick it right here. And um, it's just a video. It's... La, 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 la. And you should join me on Instagram. And you should join me. You should subscribe. Um, I don't always have as many Instagram people on it's The struggle is real, folks. The struggle is real. I almost have as many people on Instagram and YouTube as followers as I do on TPT followers. So I would love for you to join me on there too. We're gonna try this again, and I'm gonna be talking really fast because I've already done this video three times. Okay, I've got it. Let's go, folks. All right, so banners. What, what do you need a banner for? A TPT banner is going to make your store look B-E-A beautiful. And you need a beautiful store because people like beautiful stuff. We've talked about this before. People don't want to buy ugly stuff. So if they come to your store and it looks ugly, they're going to be like, uh-uh, their stuff's probably ugly too. So let's make that banner beautiful. Are you ready? Let's go. Open up that PowerPoint, ladies and gentlemen, and let's change our page setup. Now, I'm going to walk you through the little tutorial at the end of this video where I actually go through on the screen. But for right now, it's just me and it's just you and we're doing our thing. So page set up. Got it? Got it. All right. You need the height and the width. We're going to start with width first. I don't know why I said that backwards. I don't know. I'm talking really fast, but it's okay. All right. The width. It comes in inches. You have a landscape and portrait. My landscape? Portrait. So today we're going to go... <laughs> ah, I'm delirious. Get it together. Is this lighting like... Whew. I feel like I'm really, 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 really white. I mean, I am white, but... So... We have landscape and we have portrait. That's where we were. We're bringing it back now. All right, so your width needs to be 9.81, think it's inches, I don't know, I don't know. Height needs to be 1.25, we think it's inches. And once you hit okay, it should direct you to a beautiful banner looking thing. Does this look like a banner looking thing? It's gonna be long and skinny and it's gonna be white and boring. And what you need to do is make it beautiful. Now. I can't do that for you, but I could give you some tips and tricks. And when I do the thing on the, the computer in just a second, you're going to be able to see some clip artists that I use and some fonts that I always use. Shout out to KG fonts. Uh, Kimberly, guess why? If you do not use her, then I don't know what planet you're on. I really don't. So um, I'll show you how to you know manipulate some things. And, uh, all right, there's your banner. Save it as a PNG. I don't know what PNG stands for, but I know it stands for pretty instead of a JPEG prettier than a JPEG. That's just kind of what I say. Um, if you are using the latest uh, Mac 2016 version of PowerPoint, the struggle, yeah, is real with that too. I'm having some serious issues. Shout out to Chris Kessler for trying to help me on Facebook. I told him I'd give him a shout out, but that didn't work either. So my the quality is really not what it ought to be for me. But um, all right, so now we're going to move on to gifts. I had no idea what gifts stood for. for. I had no idea what GIFT stood for before today. I thought I did, but I was sadly mistaken. GIFT stands for... I'm going to try to get this right this time. Graphics Interchange Format. Boom! Oh, my God, right. Okay. Go me. It's my little party. All right. So, Graphics Interchange Format. That's when you click on someone's store and there's these rolling graphics that are, you know, beautiful. There are sellers... I'm making sure we're still recording. Man, I am. we are moving it along, folks, because I got this down now. All right, so there are some sellers who do a beautiful job at this. Amy from Glitter Meets Glue Designs, she has it going on. Hers doesn't even look like it's graphics that are inter interchanging. It looks like it's almost a movie that you get to watch. I saw another seller who had um, snow falling. I'm not that awesome. I can't tell you how to do that. But I will tell you how to do just basic, you know, graphics that you can interchange. You do need four essential things. Don't you worry. They're all free. We love that word. First things first, of course, is PowerPoint. The second thing that you're going to need to do this is la 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 la
tinyurl.com. If you are not utilizing this website, you need to be because nobody likes a URL that's 400 pages long. We want short little ones, aka, I'm sorry, hence the name tinyurl. So tinyurl is going to shrink your URL and it's going to trick TPT knows this, but it's going to trick TPT whenever they ask for a character length. You're going to be able to provide a short character length. If it says like you only have 150 characters, you can't be having a long. You can't be having. Because I'm an English teacher. What? All right. So, photo bucket, tiny URL. I always love to say gift me, but that's not what it is. Number three is giftmaker.me. Graphics interchange format, just G I F maker.me and then the fourth thing that you're going to need is a place to host your pictures okay just checking to make sure we're still live here and um, when I like to I host my pictures on a website that really is not good let's talk about that for a second photo bucket is not awesome it's not it used to be the heat back in the day you know like 2005 you were rolling in those pictures and you were lo uploading them to photo bucket but um, in 2015, almost 16, it is not that awesome. And there are horrible pop-ups that pop up, and it drives me absolutely crazy. But until I host my own website, which I am currently in the process of doing, then um, you know what? We're just going to have to deal. So PowerPoint, tinyurl, gifmaker.me, and photo bucket or an image hosting website where you can grab a URL. Okay? So these are the basic things you're going to need. Then you're going to get on that PowerPoint screen again. Now, you don't need to be on the one that you made your TPT banner from because we're going to change the dimensions and they're not the same. So go ahead and exit off that page or minimize it and let's get started on this other one. All right, so go back to page setup just like we did before and we're going to change our width and our height. If I'm talking too fast, there's a pause button and you can rewind it, you know. And um, the first thing we're going to do is your width. Your width needs to be 4.5 inches. We're going to go with short and fat on this one, okay? 4.5 inches. Your height is questionable. Some people like 1.5. I personally like don't like that. So I like mine at a 2.5. So we're at 4.5 by 2.5. Hit OK and you'll go ahead and see that it's going to fit in that little place. Now there are a few tricks that we can do to make it look like we're having a transparent background if you're down, down with that. I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. Um, I'm not going to make a beautiful one. I'm just going to make a simple one that says maybe something like this is my GIF. So you can see it rolling in order and you can see how it works. And then I'll show you how to install it in your profile on TPT. This has been the shortest video ever because I have been knocking it out. Woo! The next video that was also requested is going to be all about, it's going to be a comprehensive look on Tailwind. Now, I know how to do Tailwind. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm awesome. I'm probably not awesome, but I feel like I'm okay at it. And I want to share it with you guys. Um, the only problem that I see with all this is that there are a lot of people that do it differently than I do it. So I want you to know when I give a Tailwind video that this is not like the end all. It's just like how Casey does it, if that makes any sense. So much love from South Georgia again today. And I'm sorry that I'm not in a good mood because I feel like I'm not in a good mood now. But let me talk about something that puts me in a good mood. And that would be the TPT meetup that I had a few weeks ago, or two weeks ago, where I... Wait, it was just one week ago. Okay, I'm sorry. It was just one week ago. And all the wonderful sellers that I met um, that day, I'll insert a picture right here. Oh man, my screen went away. Wait, I, my monitor's backwards, so okay. And um, the sellers were so wonderful. Got to meet wonderful people. And I met a lot of ladies that watched my videos, which was really cool. And I don't know, it made me feel like um, these videos are really helping TPT sellers and that's what I always made them for. So I'm excited to um, get started rolling on this YouTube channel again. Forgive me, you know, life gets busy. But much love guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hi everyone and welcome to the tutorial portion of this video. The first thing we're going to do is open PowerPoint, like we said, and go to page setup. Now I've already done this for you, but I want you to see the dimensions I was talking about. You need a 4.5 and by 2.5 inches and you're going to hit OK. And I just put some font on there, shout out to KG again, just to let you know kind of what you should do. Um, of course you're going to want to put beautiful pictures in there, but you know. Alright, in PowerPoint 2016 you're going to click export. On all the other ones you'll hit save as pictures. And then you'll um, hit the drop down and always remember to save it as the pretty picture the PNG and we're just gonna rename it gift tutorial awesomeness because it is it really is
All right, then we're gonna save it to our desktop. That's just where I normally save things that I'm currently working on to make life a little bit easier. Hit OK, and it's time to get this show on the road. You ready? All right, pull up your Chrome or whatever browser you use, and we're gonna go straight to photobucket.com. Remember, that was one of the top four things that you needed for this video. All right, and remember how much I hate photo bucket. Okay, okay. Now, I just started practicing earlier to make sure I remembered how to do this. Click upload, and you need to upload all four of those images that were saved on your desktop. So go back to your desktop, open the little folder, and click on all of the videos, and click done. And you're gonna see why I hate photo bucket so much right about now. Yep all kinds of just pop-ups and videos and it's just truly aggravating so if you have any other suggestions I would love to hear them all right so click on each individual video I mean picture excuse me I like to start with the first one this and we're gonna resize it and when you click resize we're gonna click the button that looks like the pin on the square so click on that and it brings you to your picture now click resize and you need to unlock the key in order to make the dimensions where you can fix them. Now they're going to be 450 by 100. So when you unlock the key, it'll ask you if it's okay. You click okay, 450 by 150. I think I said 100, excuse me, apply. So it looks a little bit smaller and a little bit blurry, but it's okay. And then you're going to save the image. Now, you wanna do this to all four of your pictures, and we're about to go through this in like super speed real quick. Um, and when you do this, your pictures may become out of order. Just remember that they need to go in the order you want them to appear. So this is my gift, whatever. So I'm doing it real quick. Remember 450 by 150. And once they are all saved as individual images, you need to download them each one separately. And you can see them at the bottom of my um, my mom internet browser. Now we're going to giftmaker.me, which was one of the things you needed. And we're going to upload those images. Now it took me way longer than anticipated to upload these images. So we're going to zip through that as well. When you finish, it says, this is my GIF. You can see it's spinning. You can change the speed, but you need to download the GIF. And when you do, it goes down to the bottom. Go back to Photo Bucket. Remember, if you need to stop this video, you can. And go back. Upload. And you're going to find that GIF that you just downloaded from Photo Bucket. And when you download it, it will become the spinning GIF after we watch a video, of course. O-M-G, right? Right. So we're waiting and we're waiting. Okay, there it is. So go ahead and click on it. And when you click on it, it will be beautiful, just like about the size you need. And you're going to copy the link to your clipboard. And when you do that, go ahead and go to tinyurl.com. Paste that link into the little box right there, and it's going to give you a much smaller condensed version of your link. And you can see it right there on the, on the screen. Now what I need for you to do is go to your TPT store and find a link that you want people to go to when they click on your GIF. So for me, I love my best reading interactive notebook ever, and I want them to click on that. So I'm going to copy that address, go back to tinyurl, and put and paste it in there. And then I'm going to get another tiny URL address. And you need both of those to be, make a successful GIF on TPT. Now let's go back to PowerPoint and I've added a um, HTML link for you. I would pause right there so you but you're going to post the link, the tiny URL in there where it says link, and you're going to post the tiny URL where it said picture from your GIF. Now, I know it was really quick, but you can do that by just pausing the YouTube video. Go to your store account, your store profile, click edit, and when you do, you're going to take out the quote section, and you're going to replace it with that HTML link, and click save, and you'll go ahead and see it's already making a GIF. Go to your store, make sure it works, and ta-da, there it is, and you can click on it, and it should take you to the the link that you provided. All right, now it's time for the TPT banner. So go back to PowerPoint and pull up your page setup, and it should look like what we discussed in the video, 9.81 inches by 1.25 inches. And go ahead and click OK, and this is what it'll look like. You can see it's already looking like a TPT banner. And then you can add your font or whatever clip art you want to do. I'm just going to write my TPT banner, and then I'm going to change uh, the font sizes and things like that to make sure it fits within the white square area or rectangle. Whatever. Um, KG's Wake Me Up font. And go ahead and fix it however you like. Of course, you can put clip art or anything like that, but go ahead and export it. Or I messed up because I'm used to the old PowerPoint. I saved it as. But go ahead and export it as a PNG as well and save it on your desktop. And when you do that, you're going to go back to your TPT dashboard and find the link that says Customize My Store. 
And I'll go ahead and pull that up right now. Maybe. All right, and it should look like this. Go ahead and upload your picture there. Save it to the link you want it to go to when people click on it. And you are all finished. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you guys next week. Sell, 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 sell everything, stamp all. Swamp me